Sodium for Minecraft 1.20.4. Let's go ahead and get it. First things first, you want to go to the second link down below, and that will take you here. This is to our in-depth guide on getting Sodium. It's a text tutorial and allows you to go through things at more of your own pace, but if you want to follow along with the video, which I assume most people do, go ahead and click on the yellow Download Sodium button here. That will take you to Sodium's official download page on Modernth. Once you're here, you simply want to click on Versions and find the 1.20.4 version of Sodium. Now, it's actually not the one that's up here at the top. It's the next one, and it's for 1.20.3 and 1.20.4 right here. If you really want to make sure, you can always filter by the 1.20.4 version, and we'll see it right here. Go ahead and click on this, and click Download, and the download will begin right away. You may need to keep or save the file, depending on your browser. However, we still need to download Fabric, because this is a Fabric mod, and requires the Fabric mod loader to work. Before we do that, though, how to mess from our company's Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. At Simple Game Hosting, you can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server, and if you have any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support to help you out. So stop struggling to host a server and start playing Minecraft with your friends the simple way at Simple Game Hosting, the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh. Nevertheless, here we are at the third link in the description down below. This is the fabric tutorial that we have that goes over getting fabric. Once you're here, go ahead and click on the download fabric button. Let's go to the fabric download page. Once you're here, go ahead and click on the download universal jar. Little link here under download for Windows to go ahead and start downloading the jar file. You may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser. The reason we're doing that is because if you download fabric this way, other Minecraft mods and servers and things like that in the future will work. So let's just go ahead and get this done. Now let's go ahead and minimize our browser. And then we want to move Sodium and Fabric to our desktop. For me, it's in my downloads folder. We can go ahead and move these to the desktop there. And now we want to start off actually with Fabric because we have to install Fabric before we can add Sodium to Minecraft. To do that, go ahead and right click on it. Click on Open With. Click on Java and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java, you need to go to the description down below and get Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods and making Minecraft servers. Obviously, Sodium is a Minecraft mod, so we need to get Java 17. This is a super in-depth guide on doing it. You may also need to run the jar fix. So first get Java, then run the jar fix, and then finally, we'll be able to open up Fabric. So right-click on Fabric, click on Open With, Click Java and click OK. They'll open up the Fabric installer. Well, all we've got to do in here is make sure that 1.20.4 is selected and click Install. Now, if this doesn't work, it could be for two reasons. One, you have to have played Minecraft 1.20.4 before. So just go launch Minecraft with no mods and anything or anything like that installed in version 1.20.4 and you'll be good to go, you'll be able to install Fabric. Or if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open, this can have issues, so make sure both of those are closed as well. Once you've done that, you'll be able to install Fabric and then get this message of successfully installed. Click OK and we can close out of Fabric and delete the Fabric installer from our desktop. Now let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, but do not play Minecraft. We just wanna open the launcher because we can actually install Sodium without opening up Minecraft, so we're gonna do that. I seem to have been having some internet issues here. It's, it's literally in, intermittent, cutting in and out, but that's uh, my own issues here. Nothing to do with the mod or anything. Very, very odd, but once we're here, what we want to do is go to the Installations tab up here at the top, and you should have this Fabric Loader installation. If for whatever reason you don't, you can check Modded up here in the top right, as you can see, and it will appear. If it still doesn't appear, go ahead and click on New Installation. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it SimpleGameHosting.com because that's the easiest way to start a Minecraft server for you and your friends. Then go ahead and click the Versions drop-down box. Once you've done that, you want to select Release Fabric Loader 1.20.4. You want to make sure it says 1.20.4 at the end, which ours does, and then I'm going to change resolution just so we can see better once we do get in game and then click create now we have this new fabric installation with simplegamehosting.com we've also got the default fabric loader one here no matter which one you have let's go ahead and install sodium by hovering over it and clicking the folder once you click the folder it's going to open up your dot minecraft folder here and in here you should have a mods folder but nick i don't have a mods folder well look at this i don't have one either what do we do well we simply make one so right click create a new folder and title it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. And now we have a brand new mods folder. Open this up and drag and drop Sodium from our desktop into the mods folder. It's that easy to get Sodium installed. And with that, we can go ahead and launch Minecraft. You can either use the fabric installation that was there by default or the one that you created. Just make sure it says fabric 1.20.4 under it. 
click play and click play again. Now Minecraft is going to open up with Sodium installed and running in Minecraft 1.20.4. So we'll meet you on the main menu to show you that and some of Sodium's features. So here we are in Minecraft. If we go into options and video settings, we can immediately see that Sodium is active. I do want to mention at this point that we do have a custom mod pack that is set up with Optifine-like features. That means shaders installed from the beginning, as well as a ton of other performance boosts and all of that stuff that you can get on both Modern and CurseForge. It's called Not Define, and and there's a link to that in the description down below on Modernth and CurseForge. But that has Sodium and a lot of other features on top of Sodium built right on into it and can be gotten on those mod platforms. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and change all of the features that Sodium has. A lot of the boost is actually coming from these here, but uh, I do want to make sure that VSync is turned off. And we'll just go ahead. This has not been set up. As you can see, we've got super high render distance. We've got quite a few good quality settings turned on. I'm gonna, just curious what kind of FPS we're getting with Sodium. We'll obviously test this on a simple game hosting server. Let me go ahead and clear these out of the way here. But uh, yeah, this will work on any Minecraft server out there. Sodium is really, really cool in that regard. It does not matter as long as it's the only mod that's installed or other visual mods. For example, that not defined pack that I mentioned does allow you to very easily join Hypixel and other Minecraft servers without having to do anything server side. But nevertheless, Sodium is the same way. And uh, we can see here if we go ahead and press F3, our FPS is 117, 118. Which is impressive, except the uh, not defined pack that I mentioned actually allows me to get about 300 FPS while running shaders. So keep that in mind and how much more of a performance boost, if that's what you're looking for, you can get from that mod pack. Nevertheless, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. We'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.